Hello, everyone, and welcome to Elevating Your Life, and welcome to, uh, you know, our new shows for the new year, 2023. I am so happy to be here with you uh, for the upcoming year and sharing more amazing guests. We have a fantastic guest today. We have with us Oliver Rolf, and he has published several books. One, The Survivor's Guide to Your Career Today. And then we're also going to talk about the one that just was released. And it is Holistic uh, Guide to Health and Wellness. And it's an amazing book. And I'm so excited to share Oliver with you. And Oliver, he has been published in New York Times, Bloomberg, The Trade News, Euro Money, and many other global publications. Oliver is, has a daily blog that receives hundreds of thousands of individuals' views a month, LinkedIn following over 20,000, a newsletter, and he does so much for so many people and just a positive energy in the world. I am so honored to have you on the show, and thank you for joining us from the other side of the country, Oliver. Oh, Paula, thank you so much. And what an introduction that is. I, it's hard to live up to that one, but uh, I'm so genuinely pleasured to be here and, and really honored as well. So thank you so, so much. Oh, so happy to have you here. I, I would love to uh, have you share, you know, some some of your background and kind of brought you to what you're doing and, and what triggered you to write this uh, amazing book on holistic, holistic wellness. So it's um it's been a, an interesting journey uh, for me from literally uh, birth all the way up until now. Um, I'll, I'll I'll give you a, a quick overall view so I can at least uh, give you a bit of a bit of understanding. So uh, from the age of uh, five or six, my parents were divorced, but something that happened in the Western world quite a lot um, had quite an effect on my life for a number of different reasons, but. Owing to above that, so between the ages of six and 16, I'd had 45 operations, general anesthetics, um, which was a huge amount of that age, changed a lot of what I, I did in many respects and uh, what I could do at that age. Um, and subsequently, um, with my family situation, my brother was in rehab, my sister was um, anorexic and bulimic, my father had two nervous breakdowns, um, I had a very, very difficult relationship with a girlfriend, which... Uh, we are still actually very close now, amazingly, which I think is always a positive thing to show that you've overcome and, and understood maybe uh, the real essence of it. Um, and then over the last decade, my life changed quite significantly when I was diagnosed with a spinal disease, something called ankylosing spondylitis. And that started with a, a slip disc and one slip disc led into seven slip discs. And then obviously they understood that there was something going on a little bit more than that. So um, this spinal disease basically is an inflammatory disease of the spine and left untreated, my spine would fuse. Now, it is something that a, a number of people um, are suffering with, so to speak. Um, and realistically, this is why this book is so important to me in particular. So the holistic guide to your health and well-being today, as I said, I'm so delighted to be speaking to you now. It's four weeks today since the release. Uh, the book went to top 50 on Amazon, um, of which I couldn't be more proud. Um, really, I couldn't be more proud. And, um, you know, really what it um, encapsulates, it's the step-by-step -step guide to um, the relationship between the physical, mental, energetic, and emotional bodies, and really how they connect to each other. So it's not just talking about how to look after the physical element, but it talks about um, lifestyle, um, uh, well, healthy living in many respects talks about uh, nutritious foods to help your immune system the vitamins that that one needs but then also talks about the link between the physical and mental which is so important because realistically i think looking after your mental health is as important as looking after your physical health as a categoric i think the ailments that we face physically often come from another place whether it be emotionally or mentally and by looking after the whole, we are genuinely able to look after ourselves in a much, much greater depth and level. Oh, that is so awesome. That is so awesome. So give us a, a few of the key things or, you know, 
topics in your book. Give us a little something that you share. Let's say about, you know, how the holistic part of wellness. How is holistic wellness? How does that differentiate from just saying wellness? Well, I think the holistic element of it is about completeness. So um, for me, the book really covers um, self-awareness and self-control in every in every form. Now, dare I say the holistic side of it, where I moved to more some, uh, I think, spiritual elements for the energetic world. So our bodies are full of energy. I think this is scientifically known. It is fact. Some people go, oh, I don't know, that, that sounds a little strange. It's not strange. It's, you know, if you look at your... Uh, the brain, you know, the the brain wires are electric, uh, an electric an energy magnet. Um, your heart, it's constantly pumping through electricity. That's why we use ECGs to look at our body, MRI scans to look at our body, because we, we transmit a lot of electromagnetic fields. So what I have done in the book is to go through um, different elements of the chakra system, which I think some people are very unaware of. But the chakra system, it really is a system that affects both the physical, mental um, and energetic bodies all in one and actually the emotional at the same time. So by understanding this in a, dare I say, a lighter way, you know, what um, the holistic guide to health and well-being does is not just take my word. I've utilized uh, research from some of the greatest scientists out there that have studied on one element of health and well-being or one element of the chakras or one element of numerology. So I was superbly um, privileged to work with a lady by the name of Anne Perry, who is an, an international numerologist based over in Canada in Toronto. Um, now, we connected instantly, but numerology for a lot of people would seem quite strange. Why would numerology come into health and well-being? Well, Realistically, uh, Pythagoras created numerology two and a half thousand year, years ago. Now, Pythagoras, I think most people know, is a mathematic genius and really created the modern mathematics as we know it today. Now, what he did was understand that each number has uh, a vibration and an energy and a personality. And really what numerology does is highlight those numbers and those numbers that affect uh, every individual's life. So. Um, by using uh, your your birth name and by using uh, your date of birth, you're able to transfix a number of significant numbers through um, through numerology to really highlight basically why we're here. You know what our journey is, what our personalities are, what our heart's desire is, or or our soul's desire. And for me, it just opened up such a huge world that I'd never really understood first and foremost but never really knew about and I think that was the thing for me why I was I just had my mind completely blown with how amazing and how accurate and how um, I really felt connected to this information so I, I feel it's really important to not only look at you know those elements that necessarily people would know I think it's looking at the things that we might not know so much and really to have yeah, obviously, I've got uh, three other editors involved in the book as well as a 30th psychologist, David Moxon, um, a well, spiritual healer medium, Sarah Leslie, and my brother who runs, uh, who was obviously in rehab himself. He now runs uh, a rehab center throughout the whole of the UK. So he's turned his life about. And, you know, it's it's amazing. I cannot tell you how different we are in some ways but we both come into the same path at different points in our lives and I think a lot of it comes from the trauma that we had and how we've understood how it's affected us but also how it can affect others so to have these people uh, or these really generally wonderful people around me to help support the book that I've written is just absolutely phenomenal and again I, I know I've said it before but so privileged to work and speak to people like yourselves and people um, who've helped with the book you know for me this is an absolute genuine honor and, and something I love to do oh that is so fantastic and that is such a great point Oliver you know the things the 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 trials and the challenges we go through and then the choices we make and and where we move on from that, it not only changes our lives and affects us, it changes lives of those around us, you know, and makes a difference on 
on how we relate to them and and what we do with others. And that Absolutely. that is so fascinating with the numerology and getting into that. It, it's fascinating. <laughs> It blows me away. It's, it's different. I think. I think it's different. It's one of those things where you go, "Well, why should I look at that?" Well, I think you should look at everything. You know, my view in life is that we have got a set amount of time, and we should be able to do everything that we want to do, be as creative as, as we could possibly be, really connect to who we are as individuals. You know, for me, that is really how you how do you live life in a positive way in a happy way because you're actually connecting to who you are and who you want to be and it's not being dictated by outside forces whether it's family or governments or education or whatever it might be it's understanding who you are and who you truly want to be and truly want to become that you can actually go and live your life in the best possible way now you know i utilize three books in particular in, in this book as well uh, which is One, The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle, uh, The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz, and um, Blink by Malcolm Gladwell. Now, um, Eckhart Tolle's book is a phenomenal book which focuses on the present moment, the power of now. And realistically, there is only one moment that ever exists in our consciousness, and that is now. This is the moment that you are going to enjoy, you are going to live in, you're going to remember, you're going to affect. It's not the moments that will happen before. It's not previous past moments because they're gone and there's nothing you can do about them. But it's about accepting what's been before, understanding the lessons that you've learned and progressing today to be the very best that you can be. And not very best, you know, as a woo-woo, but really enjoy being the best you can be whether it's with your family, whether it's taking the dog for a walk, um, you know, whether it's just purely being present and, and, and feeling what's around you as well, because there is so much energy around us. There's so much positivity that we can have in life. And I think, as we discussed just before we came on, on air, that I think so many people automatically think negatively. If something goes wrong, it's, oh no, or, oh, you know, I wish that wouldn't happen. Well, you know, look at it in a slightly different angle and maybe understand or take a step back and understand from a holistic picture, so to speak, or or a or a wider view that there's more going on. That it's not all about us. It's not all about um, what we think and what we want. It's about understanding the bigger picture and really being as positive as we can moving forward with it. Yes, that's so true because you know there always is the bigger picture you know, of what's going to unfold. And would you say, you know, moving into that, the, you know, our joy, our health, you know, our wellness every day, it's, it's the little steps that really make a difference in our lives. You know, we can say, oh, I'm going to make this big hurdle, but those little steps, they really make a difference, don't they? Absolutely. I, I couldn't believe, uh, agree with you anymore. It is literally, it's one step at a time. Um, and that's it. It's not looking at, it's actually, you don't want to look at the big picture or you don't want to look too far in the future because the more you, you look at the big event, the more that you can get bogged down and concerned and, and have fear over it. Yeah. Um, and that's why the present moment is so wonderful where you go, okay, look, I'm I'm going to write the best email I can write. I'm going to have the best conversation I, I can I can possibly have. Um, and, you know, I, I've had an unbelievable year. I'm not going to lie. And um, it's been amazing for so many different ways. Okay, the book is probably the proudest moment uh, of my life thus far. And, I, and actually, I only feel it's, it's starting now to have the holistic guide to health and well-being to come out in a time after COVID where so many people need it, um, I think it's fantastic. Um, but on the same day that the book came out, I launched a, a charitable trust called Etc. ETC, which is Education to Career. And that is um, actually helping a lot of students between the age of 16 to 25. Um, and in the UK, I'm giving a, a free book to every single secondary school, university and business school for all students to have the opportunity 
um, to to read my first book, The Survivor's Guide to, um, to Your Career Today. And, you know, at the same time, we've been awarded uh, five separate awards this year. And I've not been in that situation to be awarded something before. And the first awards came through and I kind of thought, well, yeah, it's nice, but, you know, does it really matter? Um, and actually, when I look back at everything this year, and I can say truly that actually just by someone saying, you know, well done, it's a nice thing. And actually, the more, the more important thing that it's done is given me even more confidence to do even more and to go again next year and, and try and do bigger and better and continue on the same vein that we're in. So as you, as you just said, like all of these small things and the, the just the little steps, that's all you need to focus on. Mm -hmm. You know, the world is is a huge place with billions of people and we're all interacting on, on different levels the whole time. But I think the important step is enjoy the moment. And I know that there is so much difficulty and trauma in the world. And it's been a really trying time for so many people. And I think even like, you know, in the UK at the moment, um, and I'm from London, you know, we have uh, poverty is going up. Energy prices are going through the roof. You've got a war in the uh, in Ukraine with Russia. Um, you've got strikes and, and literally everything. It's It's a world that we haven't really seen before. But I believe that as a collective, if we continue to look at, look at things in the best possible way and, and to personally improve ourselves, whatever form that means, it's not about going, you know, uh, full guns blazing and trying to do everything for everyone. It's just trying to do the small steps that you feel are going to be right for you. And once you do that and once you're on that path and you do it every single day, whatever happens and whatever comes will guaranteed be positive. Yes, yes. And, you know, a wonderful thing that I, you know, gets me through is, you know, we have our challenges and we have things going on, but then I, I also know there are some amazing people in this world. There are acts of kindness out there, acts of love, generosity and you know if we can be a little part of that it that's just going to grow and that's really uplifting for me that's that's something I love to think about and that type of thing it, it is amazing absolutely now absolutely. um in your in your book you um do you do you share uh a little bit about the our immune system and and what we can do, give everyone a little something about the immune system, what they could do to, to really support that in themselves. Okay, so actually, one of the first things I start off with is a, what I would say is a very easy view of the immune system, because realistically, what is the immune system? We've been talking about it for two and a half years through COVID and how we've got to protect our immune system. But I don't think everyone, or I don't think anyone really has focused on themselves in that way before to go, okay, well, what, what do I need to do to improve the immune system? Is it, is it keeping myself away from people? Is it eating better foods? Is it going for a walk? And the answer is, it's everything. It literally, it is everything. So um, for me, what I've broken down in the book is the foods that really energize us and, and work well for our bodies. And it's looking at things like brew, blueberries, which are hugely positive in, in oxidants or antioxidants as well. Avocados, salmon, but also if you're looking at the food side of it, you're going, OK, well, yeah, that seems kind of OK. And blah, blah, blah. But I use scientific um, knowledge and obviously not my own scientific knowledge. I'm not a scientist. Um, but when you're looking at things like salmon, for example, I could easily say go and eat loads of salmon, but actually there's also a huge amount of pollutants when it comes to salmon. And therefore we've got to be aware of what we're eating and how we're eating it and making sure that we're eating it organically. And I think these are the things that the world's changing quite a lot. And, you know, I spend a lot of time in the US myself and um, with my business, I'm in New York at least sort of four or five times a year. Um, probably spend about a, a month and a half there every year and I've noticed how the food's changing a lot in, in America and I think these are the things that if you're not aware of you can be 
taking in too many sugars, for example. And sugar for me is probably one of the biggest addictions in the world. Um, and it's something that I feel people are very unaware of their own ad addictions. And because of their addiction to sugar, they're eating foods that they shouldn't eat. So, you know, it's looking at, at the little elements like that. But then I talk about things like screen time and screens. You know, we are on screens the whole time and screens affect our uh, circadian rhythms on a continual basis. So if you're using screens late at night, and I'm sure everyone who's listening to this has definitely been there when, you know, you're maybe you're watching TV or you're you're looking at your phone or your iPad or, or whatever machine that you're, you're on. And, you know, it, you were looking at it one minute, it was 10.30. The next time you've looked at it, it's one in the morning. You should have been in bed two hours ago and you've got to go out for an early night. And, and basically what happens is whilst you should be tired at that time by looking at the screens, uh, the green, red, and, and most importantly, the blue light of the screens affect our circadian rhythms, affect our penile glands and, and the energy transducers, and basically takes in light that we feel is the sunlight and therefore we don't feel as tired. Yeah. Now, most people don't think that that would be an issue, but actually it's just being aware of that and going, okay, right, well, I do need to get to bed earlier. Let me not do that um, or whatever it might be. So in fact, the other night I did exactly the same thing, but I was like, you know, this is my end of my year. I can start to wind down. And I, I kind of gave myself a bit of a break and said, it's fine. You're allowed to do this once in a while. But I was aware of what happened yes. and I was aware that, that this scenario took place. Um, but, you know, we can talk about things like, um, going out for uh, in in nature and being very aware of nature even this improves our immune system and it's not you know walking through a park and you know timing yourself well, i've been walking for 30 minutes right and back home and back on the computer it's literally being aware of the flowers the trees um for me in particular the stars I, the stars and, and the planets are just something i am it, weirdly i'd say addicted to in some ways it just gives me so much comfort and peace so amazing. and yes. relaxation oh it's absolutely crazy um and stephen hawking um before he passed away one of the things that he said um uh, was that we should look up you know that was his that was his final oh, message to the world oh. is look up and actually it seems such a simple thing to say but we are on a planet that is tiny, absolutely tiny in the, the spectrum of what is out there. There are billions of stars in our universe and there are, and every star is a planet, as we know. Now, the energy that's between all of the stars and the universes and the galaxy is just unbelievable. It's, un it's unexplainable. We don't, we don't know everything, of course. But having that view to look up, I think, is such an important message because of what it, for me, what it also gives us is comfort to a degree, um, but also perspective. Yeah. You know, we are a literally a drop in the ocean in terms of life. Yes. And when I kind of think about that and, I, and I'm thinking about it at the moment, it doesn't scare me. I'm not like, okay, well, you know, what else is out there? And are we alone? No, we're not alone. There is no way we're alone. It's it, it would be it would be so bizarre to think out of billions of other planets that there is no other life force. Of course there's another there's other life force. There's loads of other life forces. There is no question about that. Um, they may need, may not be in the same physical form, they might be uh, more energy we we don't know we haven't had that experience yet and i expect that we will have that experience so but i believe that having yes you know the awareness of it is is you know is absolutely imperative oh oliver i love it i love it um share with everyone your website uh how they can learn more about you or, or your books share that with everyone please it's Okay, so it, the best place to get the book, I would say at the moment, is on Amazon, but it's in, um, in Barnes and Noble or anywhere else you would buy a book. It literally is everywhere globally. Um, my website is Spartan International. So Spartan International Group, which is www.spartan-int.com. 
That is my company website. You can find me personally on LinkedIn. Uh, LinkedIn is a place where I do a huge amount of my my work, my connectivity. Um, as you mentioned at the beginning of the uh, the show, uh, we have over twenty thousand uh, followers on a constant basis. We have a newsletter which is about got fourteen and a half thousand um, followers on there. Um, and realistically, you know, those are the two best places to get a hold of me. But you can get a hold of me anywhere. And if you want to send me an email, you can email me at um, info at Spartan hyphen east x e c dot com so that's spartan hyphen exec dot com i love it i love it oh yes and and i just i have to say thank you for writing the holistic guide to your health and well-being oh that is such a gift to all of us well with just a, a few minutes left in the show oliver what last message would you like to share with us today Oh, there are so many things I could I could leave with. But I think the most no. important thing is we need more time. Be aware of yourself. Give yourself a break. Be kind to yourself. I think that's got to be the starting point of all of this. By being kind to yourself, you'll have the opportunity to be kind to others. Focus on you first, because without a strong you, you can't help anyone else. And realistically, it's something that I learned the hard way. Um, I've always tried to do a lot more for others, but at times I didn't do enough for myself. And now I'm very aware that looking after yourself first is the key. It's not the key for you being a better person, but it's the key for everyone being a better person. Oh, beautiful, beautiful words. And and before we say goodbye, I have to ask, do you see another book coming in the future? Um, it's amazing. So um, my first book, came out just before covid and i was waiting for 2020 to market it uh, obviously 2020 happened and covid started and it changed everything and uh, my second book started two and a half weeks into uh into covid when i turned around to my wife and, and said i i just can't do this i can't do nothing um and she was so gracious and amazing to to really help me with the the kids and the family and, and i was i had the opportunity to write this so I knew there was always going to be two. and I wasn't sure about the third, um, but I can say categorically there will be a third. Um, I know what it's going to be about. Uh, I have a lot of living to do, a lot of experiences to have, um, but I believe that the next one could be could be very, very different, far more progressive than what this one talks about in terms of our our connection to the subconscious and the conscious minds. And I believe that there is a lot that is um, misunderstood or, or not understood about that. So yes, there will definitely be a third book. Oh, Oliver, I'm so excited. I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, I am I am one of your biggest fans. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. For oh. you. I, and also, I'm, I'm so privileged to be with you. And, you know, we've spent some time together and, and the energy that you have and the positivity that you are, more than anything else it really is it is the positivity that you are is it's as i said it, it's so comforting it's so warming it's so welcoming but actually it just you know even being with you my i can feel my levels have gone up and my happiness has gone up and i just think you know for you to be in that in that energy and to really sit in that energy on a on a constant basis is amazing so thank you so much for allowing me to be on your show and for spending time with me as well it really is a, a, a genuine pleasure for me thank you oliver thank you so much and we will have to connect again when your next book comes out i would love that definitely definitely well, everyone out there thank you for joining us today love hugs and blessings oliver love hugs and blessings have a fantastic day